Patrick Graham is staying with the Las Vegas Raiders. If that doesn't excite you, then I don't know what you are even doing here. Hit that like button. Show a little love to my man PG because even though it's basically been officially official that the Raiders and Patrick Graham are going to be staying together for this season with the Washington Commanders going out and hiring Dan Quinn with the Seattle Seahawks, hiring McDonald, and now all of the head coaching candidacies being filled, Patrick Graham ain't leaving for anything. He is staying here with the Las Vegas Raiders. So coming up here on the show, let's get into why Patrick Graham is staying. Let's get into why my man deserves a race because he absolutely positively does. Then we're going to get into the latest NFL news that has gone down today. And then I'm talking about five big defensive free agents that I want the Raiders to target. The amount of times that I have been on this show saying like, all right, we got to find our OC, then we got to find our quarterback. Well, guess what? The Raiders defensive coaching staff is already pretty much intact. And if we don't have an OC yet, and if we're not making adjustments for the offensive side of the football yet, because you can't really play it until you have that OC, well, let's use that time while we're waiting for an OC to invest on the defensive side of the football and go out and get five big free agents. And I'm talking, put them on your list right now. Here's some of the news that ended up going down today, which is why I'm so confident that Patrick Graham now is officially, officially staying. Ian Rappaport, the commanders have found their new coach as owner Josh Harris is set to hire Cowboys defensive coordinator Dan Quinn as head coach. Quinn gets his second NFL head coaching gig, but not with the Seahawks as many expected. He lands in Washington. And before you go to that, tomorrow we're going to be live on the Raiders Sport Friday, 4 p.m. Eastern time special show. All I'm saying is there's a reason why Quinn ended up going to Washington. I'm telling you, you're not going to want to miss our show tomorrow. It's going to be an absolute bombshell. 2024 head coaching hires. Chargers, Harbaugh, Commanders, Dan Quinn. The Atlanta Falcons end up getting Raheem Morris. Panthers, Dave Canal, Patriots. I don't know why I said it like that. Gerard Mayo, Raiders, AP, Seahawks, Mike McDonald, Titans, Brian Callahan. These were the openings this offseason, and now that they have all officially been filled, remember the Las Vegas Raiders, they blocked DC interviews for PG. They never wanted him to leave in the first place. However, you can't block a man's ability. You can't block anybody's ability, period, to have a better opportunity for them, for their family, to be able to have a better roof over their head, to be able to advance their own career. And if PG would have gotten another opportunity to be a head coach, hey, you know what? I don't want to. I didn't want to lose PG, but you got to tip your cap. He absolutely deserves to be in the consideration, which is why he got so many interviews. So to me, with all the head coaches being now filled, Patrick Graham is staying with the Las Vegas Raiders, and I can finally take a little bit of a. <sighs> so show some love right now to Patrick Graham if you think that this man deserves a raise. I want you to spam PG. And if you don't spam PG, man, get the hell out of here. What Patrick Graham did this season, hell, what he even did last season with this defense deserves a round of applause. Like, I'm talking, shoddy make that ass. Like, that's how much of a round of applause that Patrick Graham deserves. He does. He absolutely does. This, you're talking about the first Raiders defense since 2002 to allow less than 20 points per game. I mean, we say all the time that defenses win championships. Patrick Graham has built you a defense that is Super Bowl caliber. With AP and PG, the Raiders allowed 16 points per game. That was number one in the NFL during that stretch. LV also spent the second least money on the defensive side of the football, not to mention how often the defense was on the field because your offense couldn't move the football at all. All I'm telling you is this. What Patrick Graham and Antonio Pierce did is a thing of absolute beauty. And since the Raiders didn't spend any money last season on the defensive side of the football, guess what? Spend some money. Go give Patrick Graham a damn race because I'm sorry. He absolutely positively deserves it. And I think all y'all can agree with me on that. So Patrick Graham, he's staying here with the silver and black. The Washington Commanders, they hired a head coach. Coming up next here on the show is we're going to get into... Some big name free agents that the Raiders could go out and target. And again, I'm thinking of more of, all right, if we're going to wait on the offensive side, I don't want to spend these next week or two if we are planning to potentially interview Clint Kubiak. I don't want to spend these next two weeks with my thumb up my you-know-what. Let's start planning for the defensive side of the football. We know Patrick Graham's here. We know what our room looks like. Antonio Pierce, Tom Telesco, Champ Kelly. Let's start going out, and I want to try to find Five big free agents, and I want the Raiders to at least sign one of them. I'll tell you who those five big-name players are, but i got to show some love here to Prize Picks. 
Price Picks is the number one daily fantasy sports app. Hell, Patrick Graham may best DC in the NFL right now. Price Picks, number one daily fantasy sports app. Go get started. It's pricepicks.com slash CLNS. Just make sure that you use code CLNS for a first-time deposit match up to $100. It's easy. It's exciting. It's daily fantasy sports made easy. You can get up to 25 times your money. Like for me, I have put down 20 bucks for the big game, and I have an opportunity to make $200. Like I'm pretty excited about it. And I, I don't always feel 100% confident in all my picks. I'm almost like thinking I got 200 bucks already in my pocket. I don't want to watch the Chiefs. I don't want to watch the 49ers, but I'm not going to be that guy. I'm a, such a big football fan. I'm going to watch the Super Bowl. Like, Let's be real here. So at least if I don't want the Niners to win and I don't want the Chiefs to win, at least I can root on some players and have an opportunity to put some money in my pocket. So that's four hours of entertainment. Uh, I think that's a pretty good way to spend my money, if you ask me. So again, if you want to go get started, that link's going to be available to you all down in the comments, down in the description of today's show pricepicks.com slash CLNS, and you got to use code CLNS. That way, Price Picks knows you came here from the Raiders report. All right, y'all, let's get into some of these big-name free agents that I want the Raiders to start figuring out a way to allocate some money because, to me, I want them to spend big at least on one player on defense that's like that big-ticket item on D. Like, I'm talking a difference maker, and if it was up to me, I would set aside $20 million at least, and I'm saying I'm going out and getting a big-name defensive tackle. And, you know, you're going to see, like, these are all going to be players. For me, though, like, the Raiders right now where they're at, I, and I feel like I say it year in and year out, year in and year out, let's go spend some money on the DT, right? Like, I want to be able to take some pressure off Tyree Wilson. I want Malcolm Coots to get more one-on-one. -on -one. I would love for Max Crosby to get more one-on-one -on -one opportunities. But you're also losing Adam Butler. You're also losing John Jenkins. You're losing Bilal Nichols. Those are your top three defensive tackles this year. Right now, you got Jerry Tillery, Byron Young, Nesta Jade Silvera, a lot, a lot of question marks. So guess what I want to do? Spend big on the big uglies in the middle because at the end of the day, Football is one in the trenches, and when you can bring four, like I'm telling you right now, if you added a Justin Matabuke, a Christian Wilkins, a Chris Jones, Leonard Williams, DJ Reader, and the reason why Jones is number three on my list is because of the money and the age. The only reason why Matabuke is at number one and Christian Wilkins there are age and overall relationships that the Raiders already have. But like, if you had Max Crosby, Tyree Wilson, let's say Christian Wilkins, and Malcolm Kuntz, you can bring four and get after the quarterback. You can drop your guys back into coverage and, like, you let them cook. That's when Patrick Graham's defense is at its best. I want them to invest big at defensive tackle. And if you agree, hit that subscribe button because if they do end up signing any big-name players, honestly, man, if they end up signing anybody in free agency, free agency is my, probably one of my favorite times of the year here. When they sign a player, we go live. I don't want you to miss it. So hit that subscribe button and turn on those notifications. Let's go to the next player here, the big-name defensive free agents that I want the Raiders to target. If you ask me, Mitch, who do you think would be the number one corner in this year's class? It's Jalen Johnson. And Johnson also has those connections with Champ Kelly. So Champ Kelly was a part of the regime back in Chicago that ended up getting Jalen Johnson when they did end up taking him. But he's like a physical freaking dude coming off the best season that he's ever had, the number one corner according to PFF. Six foot, 195 pounds, 36 tackles, four INTs, 10 PBUs, I mean, what you saw Johnson, and realistically, Johnson probably dropped like three or four picks in games that I just personally witnessed. If you put Johnson on one side of the field, though, that then allows Nate Hobbs to go back in the slot, which is kind of where I want Hobbs to live. Jack Jones is on the other side. Marcus Epps is standing right there. And then you got Trevon Merrick. That's, that might be one of the best damn secondaries in the entire National Football League. Like, you're going to lose Amik Robertson, I think, this offseason. I like Amik. He's a good player. But if I'm Robertson, I'm going to go out and I'm going to try to get my bag. And I think he's going to go get more money somewhere else. If he comes back and could be a depth player for us, yeah, I think it's a great move overall. But as it stands right now, the Raiders need to go out and they need to add some more talent, whether it's a big-name DT, maybe it's a big name like Jalen Johnson. I got two more names to get into here on the show, but for those that do not know, Chugs and I, we're going to be doing a big game watch party at the Ahern Showroom in Las Vegas, and you have an opportunity right now to reserve your tickets. It is free to enter, like 100% free to show up, but if you want to make sure that you reserve your seats, 
Go to chatsports.com slash big game. That link's going to be available to you all down in the comments and down in the description. And when you reserve a seat, you have two options. You have $99, which is all you can eat, all you can drink, which is an absolute steal in Las Vegas during the big game. On top of that, the VIP pass is $149. Also, all you can eat, all you can drink. And this is the one that I would recommend if you like legitimately want a chance to pull up to the show with Jeremy and I and like, get on screen when we're doing all of our crazy shenanigans. So again, free to attend. Reserve a seat. It's right here. Go to that link down below, chatsports.com slash big game. It is going to be an absolute movie. And if you're wondering what the venue looks like, don't worry. Jeremy and I, we're going to be on screen. The big screens that you see to the left there, that's Ahern. They also have another gigantic screen to the right. Plus, the bar itself has a bunch of TV. So if you're like worried, am I going to be able to watch the game? Yes, you are going to be able to watch the game. That I can 100% guarantee you. Chatsports.com slash big game. All right, y'all, let's keep it moving here on the show. Let's get into my final two big name free agents that I would love the Raiders to at least keep an eye on, and I think that they're going to. Next name is Legeria Sneed, cornerback from Kansas City. I'll be curious to see what Kansas City does. I think that he might end up getting franchise tagged, but I also know that Tom Telesco really values players that have that have AFC West experience. Obviously, Snead on the Chiefs has that. Plus, if you're looking for a dude that can give you maybe a little bit of an inside track on what's going on in Kansas City, Snead's a good player. He's the second best corner in free agency. That's according to my rankings. But 78 tackles, two INTs, 14 pass breakups this past season for Kansas City. Like, Chris Jones is the best player on that defense. Sneed's their second best, and that play that he had against Baltimore, punching that football out on Zay Flowers, like, Sneed, to me, he's just one of those dudes that makes plays. And he might not be the most athletic guy. He's a hell of an athlete, hell of a player overall. But, like, I want dudes when it's that moment in the AFC Championship game, you're this close to scoring a touchdown, and you punch out the football. That's, like, that's just a different type of, different type of awareness that I would love to see that paired with Patrick Graham because Patrick Graham is a hell of a teacher. Could Legereus Sneed even get better? That would be fun to watch. Let's go to the final player here on the list, and it's Antoine Winfield. And I don't really think safety is that big of a need. I don't. I love what the Raiders have in Marcus Epps. I love what the Raiders have in Trevon Merrick. However, though, I do know that safety can be a little bit cheaper than corner. And let's just say, hypothetically speaking, you, you want to spend big on defensive back. Antoine Winfield's one of those players to me where I'm like, dude can ball. And if you told me, let's put Antoine Winfield Jr. out there on the field with Merrig, with Marcus Epps, I think Patrick Graham is smart enough to figure out a way to make that work. Even if it means taking off one of our extra linebackers off the field, I'm okay with it. Like, Nate Hobbs, Jack Jones, Antoine Winfield, Marcus Epps, who I think could be this like hybrid safety linebacker type. You put Merrick on the backside with Antoine Winfield. Then you let Roberts Spillane roam. Maybe get an extra stand-up outside linebacker. My point is, sometimes I don't know necessarily where the fit's going to be, but when you're this good of a player, when you're just this versatile, when you're just this much of a, a difference maker, you can't have too many difference makers on the defensive side of the football, and I trust Antonio Pierce. I trust Patrick Graham to be able to put him in the right position. So if you told me right now, who are you spending big on on defense? Those are the names that I would love to, for the Raiders to spend big on this offseason. Let's play a game, though, because that's what the Raiders support's here about. We got 1,400 people watching this live show. Let's say you can only pick one, right? You can only pick one DB out of the names that I just mentioned. You're sitting down in the room. Tom Telesco, Antonio Pierce. They look over, and they go, Agent Red, are you going to go with Jalen Johnson, Legeria Sneed, or Antoine Winfield Jr.? <sighs> Agent Red sitting there, he's like, I don't know. Vengenzo Peoples, Real Cowboy, buzz o -matic. David Zahn, pick a defensive back, let me know down below. This is the order of where I think it would be the most likely to sign. This is not my personal rankings of who I would sign. For those of you watching live, you'll see that in a little bit here. This is the likeliness. Now, the reason why I have Legereus Sneed at number one is because corner is a bigger need than safety. Plus, he comes from the AFC West. So that's why he's number one. This is also if he doesn't get franchise tagged. Jalen Johnson is number two because of his ties with Champ Kelly. And I do think Kelly's still going to have some say of what the Raiders decide to do from a free agency draft standpoint. And then at the end, it's Antoine Winfield. Hell of a player, no doubt about it. Will be the cheapest out of all of these players on this list. 
But because the Raiders already have two really solid safeties, I think that's why he fills up back here at the bottom at number three. To make sure that you never miss anything going on around the Las Vegas Raiders, I, if you're watching this, I would imagine you're subscribed here. If you're not, make sure you do. But also to stay up to date on even more stuff. I'm pumping out more content on Twitter, more content on Instagram. I'm at MitchellRens365, literally everywhere. And uh, if you ever want to DM me, I really, really try to answer as many DMs as possible every single day. I've been trying to do a, a better job of it on IG. So always be on the lookout if you ever want to have a little one-on-one -on -one interaction with your guy.